In a world where challenges seem to lurk around every corner, staying positive can feel like an uphill battle. But fear not, because in this video, we're about to unravel the secrets to maintaining a positive mindset even in the face of adversity. Picture this. You wake up one morning, the sun is shining, birds are chirping, and everything seems just right. But then life throws you a curveball. Maybe it's a job loss, a breakup, or a health scare. Suddenly, that bright day feels a little dimmer. So, how do you hold onto that sunshine within when life throws shade your way? Welcome to Wisdom Woven, your guide to unlocking the secrets of positivity, even when times are tough. Throughout this video, we promise to share insights that can transform your outlook, elevate your mood, and empower you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. But here's the catch. We're not just here to preach positivity without substance. No, we're diving deep into the wisdom of Buddhism, an ancient tradition rich with teachings on finding peace amidst chaos. So, buckle up and get ready for a journey of self-discovery and growth. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the power of positivity, but also have practical tools to cultivate it in your own life. And hey, let's set a target. How about aiming for 1,000 likes on this video? Why? Because spreading positivity is contagious, and together, we can create a ripple effect of joy and inspiration. Now, let's kick things off by exploring the first secret to staying positive in bad times. The Power of Mindfulness Lesson 1 Understanding the Power of Mindfulness Have you ever felt overwhelmed by stress and anxiety? Do you find it challenging to stay positive when things aren't going your way? Imagine if you could find peace and calm, even in the toughest times. Today, we're going to explore how mindfulness, a core practice in Buddhism, can help you stay positive during bad times. Mindfulness is more than just a buzzword. It's a powerful tool that can transform your life. But what exactly is mindfulness? In simple terms, it means being fully present in the moment. It's about paying attention to what's happening right now without getting lost in thoughts about the past or future. Picture this, you're sitting in a beautiful garden. You can hear the birds singing, feel the gentle breeze on your skin, and smell the fresh flowers around you. You're completely immersed in this moment, not worrying about anything else. This is mindfulness. Mindfulness can be practiced anywhere, anytime. Whether you're eating, walking, or even washing dishes, you can bring mindfulness into your daily activities. By focusing on the present, you can find joy in simple things and reduce your stress levels. One of the key benefits of mindfulness is that it helps you manage your emotions better. When you're mindful, you're aware of your feelings without being controlled by them. This means you can respond to situations calmly rather than reacting impulsively. Imagine you're stuck in traffic. Instead of getting frustrated and angry, you take a deep breath and focus on the present moment. You notice the sky, the trees, and the people around you. You accept the situation as it is, without letting it ruin your day. This is the power of mindfulness. Mindfulness also enhances your relationships. When you're fully present with others, you listen better and connect more deeply. This can lead to stronger, more meaningful connections with the people you care about. Now, you might be wondering how to start practicing mindfulness. It's easier than you think. One simple way is through mindful breathing. Take a few moments each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. Notice the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. If your mind starts to wander, gently bring it back to your breath. Another effective technique is mindful walking. As you walk, pay attention to the movement of your legs, the feeling of your feet touching the ground, and the sights and sounds around you. This can turn an ordinary walk into a calming and rejuvenating experience. Mindfulness is not about emptying your mind or achieving a state of eternal bliss. It's about accepting whatever is happening, without judgment. By doing this, you can find peace and positivity even in difficult times. Research has shown that mindfulness can improve your mental and physical health. It can reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety, lower blood pressure, and even boost your immune system. 
These benefits make mindfulness a powerful tool for staying positive. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine doesn't have to be time-consuming. Even a few minutes a day can make a big difference. Start small and gradually increase the time you spend practicing mindfulness. Remember, mindfulness is a skill that takes time to develop. Be patient with yourself and keep practicing. The more you do it, the easier it will become and the more benefits you'll experience. Mindfulness can also help you develop a greater sense of gratitude. When you're present, you're more likely to notice and appreciate the good things in your life. This can shift your focus from what's going wrong to what's going right, helping you stay positive. In times of crisis, mindfulness can be a lifeline. It grounds you in the present moment, helping you stay calm and focused. This can make it easier to navigate challenges and find solutions. So, give mindfulness a try. Start incorporating it into your daily life and see how it transforms your perspective. Stay tuned for more insights and tips on how to stay positive in bad times. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you're finding these tips helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven. Together, we can find peace and positivity, even in the hardest times. Lesson 2. Cultivating Gratitude and Appreciation In the midst of life's challenges, finding moments of gratitude can be like discovering small islands of peace. Imagine this. Even on the darkest days, there are rays of light if we pause to notice them. Gratitude isn't just a fleeting emotion. It's a powerful practice that can transform our perspective on life. When we focus on what we're grateful for, whether it's the warmth of the sun on a chilly morning or the kindness of a stranger, we invite positivity into our lives. It's like planting seeds of happiness that eventually bloom into a garden of joy. Research shows that practicing gratitude can improve our overall well-being by reducing stress and enhancing our resilience. But how do we cultivate gratitude, especially when times are tough? One effective way is through keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, take a few moments to write down things you're thankful for. They could be as simple as a delicious meal or a heartfelt conversation. This practice shifts our attention away from what's lacking to what's abundant in our lives. Another way to cultivate gratitude is by expressing it verbally. Take time to thank the people who enrich your life. Whether it's a family member, a friend, or a colleague, Expressing appreciation strengthens your connections and uplifts both you and the recipient. Creates a positive cycle where gratitude begets more gratitude. Gratitude also involves a mindset shift, a conscious choice to see the silver linings even in challenging situations. For example, instead of lamenting a rainy day, appreciate the nourishment it provides to the earth and the chance it gives us to cozy up indoors. This perspective not only enhances our mood, but also deepens our resilience in facing life's ups and downs. Moreover, practicing gratitude doesn't mean denying or minimizing hardships. It means acknowledging them while also acknowledging the positives that coexist. This balanced view helps us maintain perspective and prevents us from being overwhelmed by difficulties. In essence, cultivating gratitude is a skill that can be honed with practice. It's about training our minds to notice and appreciate the beauty and goodness around us, no matter how small. This practice not only enriches our own lives, but also spreads positivity to those around us, creating a ripple effect of goodwill and happiness. So, as you continue on your journey, remember the power of gratitude. Start small with a simple acknowledgement of something you're thankful for today. Allow this practice to grow and flourish and witness how it transforms your outlook on life. Lesson 3. Embracing Impermanence and Change Change is the only constant in life, a truth echoed through the ages by philosophers and spiritual leaders alike. From the rise and fall of civilizations to the shifting seasons, impermanence shapes our world and our existence. Yet, in the face of uncertainty, many of us struggle to maintain our equilibrium. How can we embrace impermanence rather than resist it? This part explores this profound question, offering insights rooted in both Buddhist wisdom and practical psychology. Imagine life as a river, constantly flowing. 
When we resist change, it's like trying to hold on to the river's water. It slips through our fingers, leaving us frustrated and anxious. However, when we learn to flow with the river, navigating its twists and turns, we find a sense of peace and resilience. This metaphor encapsulates the essence of embracing impermanence. Buddhist teachings emphasize the impermanent nature of all things, known as anicca. Understanding this principle allows us to release our grip on expectations and outcomes. Instead of clinging to the past or fearing the future, we learn to live fully in the present moment. This shift in perspective can alleviate much of the suffering caused by our resistance to change. In practical terms, embracing impermanence requires a mindset shift. Rather than viewing change as a threat, we can see it as an opportunity for growth and renewal. Just as seasons change, bringing new life and experiences, so too can our lives transform through each cycle of impermanence. Psychologically, our brains are wired to seek stability and predictability. However, this tendency can lead to anxiety when faced with uncertainty. By cultivating mindfulness and acceptance, we can rewire our brains to embrace change as a natural part of life's unfolding journey. Consider the story of a butterfly, a powerful symbol of transformation. From a humble caterpillar to a majestic butterfly, this creature undergoes a profound metamorphosis. Similarly, each of us experiences personal growth through life's transitions. Embracing impermanence means recognizing that change can be a catalyst for positive transformation. In Buddhist philosophy, impermanence is not a cause for despair but a reason to cherish each moment. The concept of nowness encourages us to fully engage with the present, appreciating its fleeting beauty. When we let go of the illusion of permanence, we can savor life's experiences more deeply. Practicing mindfulness meditation can deepen our understanding of impermanence. By observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, we become more attuned to the ever-changing nature of our inner world. This awareness fosters resilience and emotional balance in the face of life's uncertainties. In summary, embracing impermanence is about embracing life itself. It's about letting go of the need for control and surrendering to the natural rhythms of existence. By cultivating a mindset of acceptance and gratitude, we can navigate life's changes with grace and resilience. Lesson 4. Finding Strength in Adversity In life, adversity is inevitable. Whether it's a setback at work, a personal challenge, or a global crisis, we all face difficult times. How we respond to these challenges defines our character and shapes our future. It's during these tough times that our inner strength and resilience truly shine through. Think back to a time when you faced adversity. Maybe you didn't get that promotion you worked so hard for, or perhaps you experienced a loss that left you feeling shattered. These moments can feel overwhelming, but they also present opportunities for growth and transformation. One of the secrets to staying positive in bad times is to shift your perspective. Instead of seeing adversity as a roadblock, view it as a stepping stone. Each challenge presents a chance to learn something new about yourself and the world around you. Resilience is like a muscle that grows stronger with each hardship you overcome. When faced with adversity, take a moment to acknowledge your emotions. It's okay to feel sad, frustrated, or scared. These feelings are valid and part of the human experience. Next, remind yourself of your past triumphs. Reflect on the challenges you've already conquered and how they've shaped you into the person you are today. This reflection can boost your confidence and remind you of your inner strength. Finding strength in adversity also involves seeking support from others. Don't hesitate to lean on friends, family, or a trusted mentor during tough times. Talking about your feelings can provide clarity and help you navigate your emotions more effectively. Moreover, practicing self-care is crucial when facing adversity. Take time to engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Whether it's going for a walk in nature, reading a favorite book, or practicing yoga, prioritize activities that nourish your mind, body, and spirit. It's also important to maintain a sense of perspective. Remember that tough times are temporary, 
and they often pave the way for brighter days ahead. Trust in your ability to overcome challenges and believe that you have the resilience to weather any storm. Lastly, finding strength in adversity is about embracing the power of hope. Cultivate a positive outlook by focusing on what you can control and taking proactive steps towards your goals. Remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. By embracing adversity as an opportunity for growth, seeking support from others, practicing self-care, maintaining perspective, and cultivating hope, you can find the strength to stay positive even in the face of life's toughest challenges. Together, let's navigate adversity with courage and resilience, knowing that each obstacle is a chance to discover our true potential. Lesson 5. Nurturing Compassion and Kindness Welcome back to Wisdom Woven. In this part, we delve into a powerful practice that can transform not only your mindset, but also your interactions with the world around you. Nurturing compassion and kindness. Compassion is more than just a feeling. It's a profound empathy for others suffering and a sincere desire to alleviate it. It starts with being kind to yourself, acknowledging your own struggles and treating yourself with gentleness. When you extend this kindness to others, you create a ripple effect of positivity that can uplift entire communities. Imagine a world where everyone acted out of genuine compassion, where understanding and empathy replaced judgment and criticism. It's not just a utopian dream. It's a tangible goal we can work towards every day. Research shows that practicing compassion enhances overall well-being. It reduces stress, boosts happiness, and even strengthens the immune system. When you're kind to others, your brain releases oxytocin and dopamine, neurotransmitters that promote feelings of love and pleasure, benefiting both the giver and the receiver. But how do we cultivate compassion in our daily lives? It starts with mindfulness, being present and attentive to the emotions and needs of others. Simple acts like listening actively, offering a helping hand, or sharing a smile can make a world of difference to someone who may be struggling silently. Compassion also involves letting go of prejudices and biases. It's about seeing beyond surface differences and recognizing our shared humanity. When we approach others with an open heart and mind, we foster connections that transcend barriers of race, religion, or background. Moreover, compassion isn't limited to humans. It extends to all living beings. Buddhist teachings emphasize metta, or loving-kindness meditation, which involves sending wishes of well-being and happiness to oneself, loved ones, acquaintances, and even those with whom we may have conflicts. Practicing compassion isn't always easy, especially when faced with adversity or challenging individuals. However, it's precisely in these moments that compassion becomes most potent. It's about responding with kindness instead of reacting with anger or resentment. By nurturing compassion, we not only contribute to a more harmonious society, but also enhance our own sense of fulfillment and purpose. Imagine the impact if each of us committed to one small act of kindness every day. How many lives could be brightened? How many spirits lifted? In conclusion, cultivating compassion isn't just a virtue. It's a practical approach to living a more fulfilling and meaningful life. As we continue our journey towards positivity in challenging times, let's remember that compassion starts with us. Together, let's weave a tapestry of kindness that enriches our lives and those around us. Thank you for watching this part of Wisdom Woven. Stay tuned for more insights on staying positive in difficult times. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Lesson 6. Letting Go of Attachment In this part of our journey towards staying positive in tough times, we delve into the profound wisdom of letting go of attachment. Imagine carrying a heavy backpack full of things you no longer need or that weigh you down. Just like that backpack, attachments can burden our minds and hearts, preventing us from experiencing true freedom and peace. Attachment is the strong clinging or craving for things, people, or outcomes. It's natural to desire things in life, but when that desire turns into a rigid attachment, it can lead to suffering. Think about a time when you desperately wanted something, a promotion, a relationship, or a particular outcome. 
The more you grasped onto it, the more anxious or disappointed you became when things didn't go as planned. Buddhist teachings highlight the impermanent nature of everything. Nothing lasts forever, including our attachments. When we cling too tightly to something, we resist the natural flow of life. Picture holding onto a riverbank during a flood. You'll exhaust yourself trying to control the unstoppable force of water. Similarly, when we resist change and hold onto attachments, we create unnecessary pain and struggle for ourselves. Letting go doesn't mean giving up or becoming indifferent. It means releasing our grip on expectations and outcomes, allowing life to unfold naturally. This doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process of awareness and practice. Imagine you're holding a balloon. The more you loosen your grip, the higher and freer it can float. Attachment often arises from fear, the fear of loss, rejection, or not being good enough. By understanding this fear, we can begin to loosen its grip on us. It's like stepping back and observing your thoughts and emotions without being swept away by them. This mindful awareness allows us to see attachments for what they are, temporary and ultimately unsatisfying sources of happiness. Buddhist philosophy encourages us to cultivate a sense of non-attachment, not detachment. Non-attachment means enjoying and appreciating what life offers without depending on it for our happiness. It's like enjoying a beautiful sunset without desperately clinging to it, knowing that another equally breathtaking sunrise will follow. Imagine a bird perched lightly on a branch. It enjoys the view from the tree but is not afraid to fly away when the time comes. Similarly, we can learn to appreciate life's gifts while remaining flexible and open to change. This approach fosters resilience and a deeper sense of inner peace. Practicing non-attachment doesn't mean avoiding relationships or goals. It means approaching them with a balanced perspective. Picture a gardener tending to a garden, caring for each plant with love and attention, knowing that seasons change and flowers bloom and fade. Similarly, we can nurture our dreams and relationships while accepting the ebb and flow of life. Letting go of attachments liberates us from unnecessary suffering and allows us to fully embrace the present moment. It's like cleaning out a cluttered room, creating space for new experiences and possibilities to enter our lives. By releasing attachments, we open ourselves up to greater joy, peace, and fulfillment. The practice of letting go is a profound act of self-love and compassion. It's like offering yourself the gift of freedom from the chains of expectations and desires. Imagine feeling lighter and more at ease as you let go of what no longer serves you, making room for growth and transformation. In summary, letting go of attachment is not about denying ourselves joy or avoiding challenges. It's about embracing life with an open heart and mind, trusting in the natural rhythm of change. By cultivating non-attachment, we cultivate resilience, compassion, and a deeper sense of inner peace. Lesson 7, Practicing Self-Compassion. Welcome back to Wisdom Woven. Today, we delve into a powerful practice that can transform how we navigate difficult times. Self-compassion. In the midst of challenges, we often forget to extend kindness and understanding to ourselves. Yet, this practice is not only essential for our well-being, but also empowers us to face adversity with greater resilience. Self-compassion starts with acknowledging that it's okay to struggle. Life's journey is filled with ups and downs, and each of us faces moments of doubt, pain, and disappointment. Instead of criticizing ourselves for not being perfect or for feeling vulnerable, self-compassion teaches us to embrace our humanness. Imagine a close friend going through a tough time. You wouldn't berate them or minimize their feelings, would you? You'd offer them words of comfort, empathy, and encouragement. Similarly, self-compassion encourages us to treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding we would offer to a friend in need. Research shows that self-compassionate individuals experience greater emotional well-being and resilience in the face of challenges. When we practice self-compassion, we're less likely to get stuck in negative thought patterns or self-criticism. Instead, we cultivate a mindset that acknowledges our struggles while nurturing the belief in our ability to overcome them. 
Self-compassion isn't about self-indulgence or avoiding responsibility. It's about approaching ourselves with warmth and care, especially when we fall short or encounter setbacks. By doing so, we create a supportive inner dialogue that strengthens our emotional resilience and motivates us to learn and grow from our experiences. One powerful way to cultivate self-compassion is through mindful awareness. Mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. When we practice mindfulness, we become more aware of our inner dialogue and can gently redirect harsh self-criticism towards self-compassion and understanding. Another essential aspect of self-compassion is self-kindness. This involves treating ourselves with the same gentleness and encouragement we would offer to a friend. It means acknowledging our mistakes and imperfections with empathy and recognizing that they are part of being human. Self-compassion also involves recognizing our common humanity. We are not alone in our struggles. Suffering is a natural part of the human experience. When we remind ourselves that others also face challenges and setbacks, we cultivate a sense of connection and empathy that can deepen our self-compassion. Practicing self-compassion requires patience and persistence. It's a skill that develops over time with practice and self-awareness. By intentionally nurturing self-compassion, we strengthen our emotional resilience and enhance our capacity to navigate life's difficulties with grace and courage. Incorporating self-compassion into our daily lives can have profound effects on our well-being. It fosters a sense of inner peace and acceptance, allowing us to approach challenges with greater clarity and resilience. As you continue on your journey, remember to be kind to yourself and embrace the power of self-compassion to transform your life. Thank you for joining us in exploring the transformative practice of self-compassion. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insights and practical tips on cultivating positivity and resilience in your life. Lesson 8 Fostering a Positive Mindset Through Meditation Meditation is a powerful tool for cultivating a positive mindset and enhancing overall well-being. By dedicating even a few minutes each day to meditation, you can significantly impact your mental clarity and emotional resilience. Imagine starting your day with a sense of calm and focus that stays with you through challenges. Meditation allows you to create a space where you can observe your thoughts without judgment. This practice helps in reducing stress and anxiety levels, promoting a more positive outlook on life. One of the simplest forms of meditation is focused breathing. Find a quiet place, sit comfortably, and bring your attention to your breath. Notice the sensation of each inhale and exhale. When your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. This practice trains your mind to stay present and calm, fostering a positive mindset throughout your day. Another effective meditation technique is loving-kindness meditation. Here, you extend feelings of compassion and kindness towards yourself and others. Start by silently repeating phrases like, May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be at peace. Gradually extend these wishes to loved ones, acquaintances, and eventually to all beings everywhere. This practice cultivates empathy and positivity within you. Guided meditations are also popular and accessible. You can find numerous apps, podcasts, or videos that guide you through meditation sessions. These resources often focus on relaxation, gratitude, or visualization, making it easier to maintain a positive mindset. The benefits of meditation extend beyond the moments you spend in practice. Regular meditation enhances emotional regulation, improves concentration, and strengthens resilience in the face of adversity. It rewires your brain to respond to challenges with greater calmness and clarity. Moreover, meditation complements other positive habits like exercise and healthy eating. When practiced consistently, it supports your overall well-being, creating a ripple effect of positivity in your life and interactions. Incorporating meditation into your daily routine doesn't require special skills or a significant time commitment. Start with just a few minutes each day and gradually increase as you feel more comfortable. Consistency is key in reaping the long-term benefits of meditation for your mental and emotional health. 
As you continue your meditation practice, notice how it enhances your awareness of the present moment. You'll begin to appreciate the beauty in everyday experiences and find joy in simple pleasures. This heightened awareness fosters gratitude and reinforces a positive mindset. Meditation also encourages introspection and self-discovery. Through quiet reflection, you gain insights into your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. This self-awareness empowers you to make conscious choices that align with your values and aspirations. Furthermore, meditation is a journey of self-compassion. It teaches you to treat yourself with kindness and understanding, especially during difficult times. By nurturing a compassionate attitude towards yourself, you build resilience and bounce back stronger from setbacks. In today's fast-paced world, meditation offers a sanctuary of stillness and peace. It's a retreat from the noise and distractions, allowing you to recharge and reconnect with your inner wisdom. This inner connection strengthens your intuition and decision-making abilities, leading to more positive outcomes in life. Remember, meditation is a personal practice, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. Explore different techniques and find what resonates most with you. Whether it's mindfulness, loving-kindness, or guided meditation, the essence lies in creating a space for self-reflection and inner growth. In conclusion, Integrating meditation into your daily life empowers you to cultivate a positive mindset and navigate challenges with resilience. As you embark on this journey of self-discovery and inner peace, embrace each moment with openness and curiosity. The transformative power of meditation awaits you, offering a path to greater well-being and fulfillment. Lesson 9. Building Resilience Through Acceptance In the journey of staying positive during challenging times, one of the most powerful tools we have is acceptance. It's not about giving up or resigning ourselves to fate, but rather about embracing reality as it is and finding strength in that acceptance. Imagine a tree in a storm. It doesn't resist the wind, but it bends with it, staying rooted and strong. Similarly, acceptance allows us to bend without breaking, to adapt and grow even in the face of adversity. Acceptance begins with acknowledging our emotions and circumstances without judgment. When we resist or deny what's happening, we create unnecessary suffering. Instead, by accepting the present moment with all its difficulties, we open ourselves to finding solutions and moving forward. This doesn't mean we passively accept everything without trying to change it. Acceptance is about understanding what we can control and what we cannot. It's about focusing our energy on what's within our power, our attitudes, responses, and actions, rather than on what's beyond our control. Resilience, then, is built on this foundation of acceptance. When we accept our circumstances, we free up mental and emotional space to respond effectively. We can channel our energy into constructive efforts, rather than wasting it on futile resistance. Moreover, acceptance fosters inner peace. It allows us to let go of the constant struggle against reality and find peace within ourselves. This inner peace becomes a source of strength during difficult times, grounding us and providing clarity amidst chaos. In the practice of acceptance, mindfulness plays a crucial role. Mindfulness helps us observe our thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. It enables us to see things as they are, without distortion or exaggeration, which is essential for making wise decisions. Acceptance also involves letting go of the need for things to be different from how they are. It means releasing expectations and embracing the present moment with openness and curiosity. This attitude of openness fosters creativity and resilience, enabling us to find new paths forward. Furthermore, acceptance cultivates humility. It reminds us of our place in the larger scheme of things and connects us to a deeper sense of humanity. When we accept our own vulnerabilities and imperfections, we become more compassionate towards ourselves and others. In essence, building resilience through acceptance is not just about enduring hardships. It's about thriving despite them. It's about developing a mindset that can weather any storm and emerge stronger on the other side. As we explore the power of acceptance, we discover that it is not a one-time act but a continuous practice. 
It requires patience, courage, and commitment. Each moment presents an opportunity to choose acceptance over resistance, thereby nurturing our resilience and enhancing our well-being. Ultimately, acceptance empowers us to reclaim our agency in challenging times. It allows us to respond to adversity with clarity and grace, harnessing our inner strength to create positive change in our lives and in the world around us. So, let us embrace acceptance as a guiding principle on our journey towards greater resilience and positivity. By doing so, we not only transform our own lives, but also inspire others to navigate their challenges with courage and resilience. Lesson 10, Creating Meaning and Purpose in Life. In the journey of staying positive during challenging times, one of the most powerful anchors you can have is a sense of meaning and purpose in your life. Imagine waking up every morning with a clear understanding of why you do what you do, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment in the tasks you undertake. This part explores how you can discover and nurture that sense of purpose, providing you with the resilience and motivation to navigate through difficulties. Begin by reflecting on what truly matters to you. What activities or causes make you feel alive and connected? Whether it's helping others, creating art, or making a difference in your community, your purpose often lies at the intersection of what you love, what you're good at, and what the world needs. Take time to explore these aspects of yourself. Sometimes, finding purpose can be as simple as revisiting childhood passions or connecting with activities that bring you joy. Think about the moments in your life when you felt most fulfilled or proud. What were you doing? These clues can lead you to uncover your deeper purpose. Once you have a sense of what your purpose might be, set meaningful goals aligned with it. These goals should excite you and give you a sense of direction. They can be big or small, what matters is that they contribute to your overarching sense of purpose. Remember that purpose can evolve over time. It's okay if your priorities shift or if you discover new passions. Stay open to growth and change, allowing yourself to explore different paths until you find what truly resonates with you. Surround yourself with people who inspire and support your sense of purpose. Seek out mentors, friends, or communities that share your values and goals. Their encouragement can provide valuable guidance and motivation on your journey. Practice gratitude along the way. Acknowledge the progress you've made and celebrate small victories. Gratitude not only boosts your mood, but also reinforces your sense of purpose by reminding you of the positive impact you're making. Engage in self-reflection regularly. Take time to assess whether your current activities align with your purpose. This introspection allows you to make adjustments and stay focused on what truly matters to you. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Difficulties can refine your sense of purpose, teaching you resilience and deepening your commitment to your goals. See setbacks as temporary hurdles rather than permanent barriers. Share your purpose with others. Articulating your goals and passions not only solidifies your commitment, but also invites support and collaboration from those around you. You might inspire others to find their own sense of purpose as well. Finally, remember that finding meaning in life is a continuous journey, not a destination. Stay curious and open to new experiences. Allow yourself the freedom to explore different avenues until you find what brings you the greatest fulfillment. By cultivating a strong sense of purpose, you empower yourself to stay positive and resilient, even in the face of adversity. Your purpose becomes a guiding light, illuminating the path forward and infusing each day with meaning, conclusion and action steps, embracing positivity, the key to thriving. Welcome back to Wisdom Woven, where we've journeyed through 10 invaluable secrets to staying positive during life's toughest moments. Now, armed with these transformative insights rooted in the wisdom of Buddhism, let's consolidate our learnings into actionable steps that can truly change your life. Throughout this video series, you've discovered how mindfulness can anchor you in the present moment, helping to alleviate anxiety and stress. By simply observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment, you pave the way for a more serene and positive mindset. Gratitude, Another powerful tool we explored shifts your focus from scarcity to abundance. 
Taking a moment each day to appreciate the blessings, both big and small, cultivates a sense of contentment and joy that permeates your life. Remember, change is inevitable. By embracing impermanence, you open yourself to new opportunities and growth, even in the face of adversity. Every challenge becomes a stepping stone to resilience and inner strength. Compassion, both towards others and yourself, fosters deep connections and a sense of belonging. Through acts of kindness and understanding, you contribute positively to your own well-being and that of those around you. Letting go of attachments frees you from unnecessary suffering. Whether it's material possessions or expectations, releasing these burdens allows you to live more freely and authentically. Self-compassion is crucial on your journey towards positivity. Treat yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would offer to a dear friend facing difficulties. Nurture your inner self with love and acceptance. Meditation serves as a daily retreat for your mind, offering clarity and peace amidst life's chaos. A few minutes each day devoted to meditation can significantly enhance your ability to stay centered and positive. Building resilience involves embracing life's challenges as opportunities for growth. Rather than resisting difficulties, see them as chances to develop strength and wisdom, knowing that every setback is a stepping stone towards a brighter future. Finding meaning and purpose in your life provides a sense of direction and fulfillment. Whether through hobbies, relationships, or career pursuits, align your actions with your values to experience deeper satisfaction and happiness. Now, as we conclude this journey together, Remember that positivity is not just a state of mind, but a way of life. It's about choosing hope over despair, gratitude over bitterness, and love over fear. Take these teachings to heart and integrate them into your daily life. Start small with one practice at a time and observe how it transforms your outlook and experiences. Share your journey with others, for positivity grows stronger when shared. Engage in conversations, offer support, and inspire those around you to embrace the beauty of a positive mindset. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of positivity and resilience through the lens of Buddhism. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insightful content that enriches your mind and spirit. Together, let's continue weaving wisdom into the fabric of our lives, one positive thought and action at a time. Embrace the journey ahead with courage, compassion, and an unwavering commitment to positivity.